Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to compute the standard deviation with Excel. I'm also going to assume that you don't have the data analysis tool pack enabled. So I'm quickly going to show you how to enable that and compute the standard deviation. So the first thing you want to do to enable the tool pack is you want to click here where it says File. So left click on File. Then you want to go all the way down to Options and left click on Options. Once you're in options, you want to go to add-ins and left click on add-ins. And then you should see it here, analysis tool pack. You'll notice that it is inactive. So you want to left click on that. And a really common mistake is people click on OK. Uh, you don't want to click on OK. You want to click here where it says go, manage Excel add-ins, go. Then you want to just left click on the analysis tool pack and then just click OK. Let me go through that one more time. So you go to File, all the way down to Options. You want to click on Add-ins, then click on the Analysis Tool Pack, and then click on Go. You'll notice it's already checked, so we're good to go. OK, now let's find the standard deviation. So all you have to do is type in the numbers. So 7, 11, 12, 15, 20, and 14. So type in the numbers and we're good to go. So now you go to data or data. So click the data tab and then there is the tool pack. That's the data analysis tools, tools for financial and scientific data analysis. So you want to left click on that. And there it is. So you want to click on descriptive statistics. So left click on descriptive statistics and then just click OK. Now, this should be highlighted here. If for some reason it's not, you want to left click on this box here to make sure your cursor is flashing there. Then left click your mouse on the number in the column and then just drag it down and then release your left click. So now you see it's cells A1 through A6. Go here to where it says summary statistics. Left click on that. Then just click OK. And there it is. We have the standard deviation. Let me just slide it over so you can see it right there. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.